seeing ourselves in ways that we haven't lived up to our own expectations of how we wish to be and how to accept that without continuing to judge ourselves. Because let's tie this back to your health. So there were circumstances in your life over which you didn't have control. And there was a capacity within you to cope and therefore to support others and to act that even though in theory you may wish that you could have or would have responded differently, in practice you weren't able to for whatever reasons. Like that's just what was. There's a fork in the road. The one fork in the road is you know, I fell into that hole and now every time I try and get up, I'm going to beat myself back up because I should not have gone into that hole. You know, and that's when the shame, the regret, the self-loathing, like that will keep the body from thriving. And it won't actually help the people who you know, needed it. Like it doesn't change the situation. It just perpetuates our own suffering. So it isn't so much that you say you ought to focus on you know, how well your kids are doing now. In my opinion, we need to focus on the person who's so upset and cultivate compassion. I've been through this so many times and I know how easy it is to just berate ourselves. But in fact, the choice to be kind, the choice to accept that we are imperfect humans and we do imperfect things and that in our imperfection, we don't live up to our own standards and that is actually, we can love ourselves even though we have failed in some significant way. Like that's actually the most loving thing you can do for your kids is to love yourself through your own limitations. Uh, and that would be a really central thing to work on in your meditations. Lots of people don't know how to do that, but that's actually learned. It's sad, but how to be kind to ourselves is something that most of us have to learn. Because most of our parents didn't know how to be kind to themselves. So we've learned to judge ourselves and to berate ourselves. And it's, it is a recipe for sickness. And then you can say, oh my God, I know this is making me sick and I'm still doing it. So it's like the whole thing, it's all, Compassion and compassion and compassion. I'm doing the best that I can. And when the voice comes and says, no, but I could have done better. I did the best that I could. I'm doing the best that I can. I accept my humanness. I accept my imperfections. 